Hi y'all, so I'm going to attempt to film a quick catch up. Next door is having their garden done so there's a lot of noise coming on and off. Um, so we just have to see how we do. <laughs> um, so I've just filmed the unboxing of this die kit. This is the kit that I should have got the first time around. It's really nice and that video will probably be up before this one. Um, I'll start with saying I'm sorry you haven't had any vlogs. I did vlog for the first uh, um, once in the morning for many many days but Duncan had so many business calls I couldn't vlog throughout the rest of the day and so I didn't end up finishing those vlogs so I didn't bother putting them up. Um, he's had so many business calls it's near impossible to actually film. I'm in the conservatory hence the backdrop this way at the moment. Um, I had to lower the backdrop so that you, you can see it's a backdrop because of these which I'll explain in a minute. Um, so yeah vlogging hasn't gone so well. Um, I will uh, keep attempting to do vlogging but with Duncan's work unless he has a miracle day where he's not on business calls all day I can't really film because I'm not going to talk while he's on his calls because it's just rude. Um, so it looks like I haven't done much, but I have been busy. Um, this room has been rearranged again and reorganised. The upstairs craft room has been reorganised. And my bedroom has been completely reorganised. Um, and the lounge has actually been partly reorganised. So there's been a lot going on that's not been filmed. Um, so there hasn't been a huge amount of crafting time. Add to that the fact that I'm still playing Animal Crossing rather a lot. Um, I haven't done a lot of crafting, but I am getting there. So this is what's been done so far. Um, let's see that. Um, of the cross top that I'm doing. So it's similar to the previous top that I made, but this one will be more of a dress and the it's not blocked so it's harder to see but if you can see the strands actually cross instead of going straight this was the original design before I even done the straight one um, but I like the straight one more so I've done that one first but I am really liking this one um, I said this one will be fully in the round and then it will have straps for um, the dress part and then both stitch patterns can actually be changed between the two different patterns so at some point I will make a cross um, I keep looking over it because it's over here I don't know if you can see it's here let's see um, so yeah I will probably um, make the uh, top in the cross and the dress in the straight at some point so you can see how they look in both patterns um, I had to change up the colours on this one because I actually ran out of the white um, I think the blue as well, the white and the blue on because I was using scraps to do these um, so I couldn't do the same colour thing so we've gone with this but I'm quite liking it though I am preferring the yellow, pink, blue and white that I did it's just I think it's much more brighter, more me but it's getting there, so hopefully I will have more of that done for you at later. I'm only crocheting in the evenings at the moment because I need good daylight to be these, which I'll explain again in a minute. Um, is it focused? It's going a little do -lally. It's because the sun keeps going in and out in here. Okay, so if you all remember, I've been um, doing a lot of lucky starts. Um, I'm sorry you only see my head, but I needed a higher so you can see them. <laughs> um, and I've been making the lucky stars into earrings. So I will just pull one out so you can have a look. So, go in the centre, that would be helpful. These are literally just the star on a nice drop earring so nice and simple and I think very classic looking um, kind of classy it might just be me but I think they look classy and um, just a simple delicate colour pop on your ears um, which obviously I've done in the silver the pink the red the two different greens two different blues and the kind of bronzy brown so if you can seal them focus doesn't want to work does it Focus, people. 
Why is it not focusing? Anyway, hopefully you saw them before the focus went. Let's attempt to refocus, shall we? The camera's actually upside down right now. It's the only way to get it to work. Okay, I'm going to have to pause and sort this out. Back in a second. Okay, we have focus again. Let's see if it stays, shall we? So, one last look, just in case you didn't get to see them before. These earrings will be photographed correctly soon and go up onto the shop. Um, they will be £5 each. Um, per pair, obviously. <laughs> um, so, they're not too bad. Nice little pocket money thing and I think they're really pretty and I like them. I actually made myself a silver and a pink pair that I'm keeping and my auntie's granddaughter, so my cousin's kit, um, liked the pink so she got a pink pair. <laughs> um, so that's the only thing I've got in front of me to show you. So behind me, as you can see, are more wall hangings. This, if you've been following my Instagram, you would have seen these are beaded and lucky star wall hangings. That's two of them there. One of them's finished because it's my first attempt, and the other one's not finished yet. So let's see if I can get them down and show you them more. So this one was my first attempt. Um, I don't have any more of these beads that are at the top and as you can see I didn't quite get them all even and tight as I would have liked so this one is just going to be kept at home for me but if you can see the colours but that's that one and then we just lift this one off this one is not finished and um, this one will have multiple more strands to go so it will be about that wide when finished you can see where my fingers are that's how wide it's going to be but it's the same process so we've just no beads at the top on this one because I don't have any more of those beads so we've gone bugle beads matching each of the lucky star colours going all the way down and then I finish it with these silver ones um, just to give it a little bit of sparkle at the end. So, as I said, this one will be longer, but it, it's coming along with nice, and I'm really liking them. Um, so, as you can see, this one will be more like this entire size when it's finished. Um, so, I've still got to pretty much double the size that I've done, really. But that's what it will look like when it's completed in its full length, uh, full width. So I really like it and I'm doing some more of them. The thinner ones, are prob the, like the first one that I've done, um, that will probably be about £25-£30. And then the bigger one, I will be using double the amount of strands minimum. So that's probably going to be more like £50-£60. I know it sounds like a lot, but it takes many, many hours to do these. <laughs> um, so it's just it's a little boho -y thing. I'm g probably going to make a really big one to go in my lounge window because our windows open straight up onto the street. You can see right through through our lounge window, through our study area, and straight through to here. It's just one massive corridor. Um, so I think something like this will help break it up so that people can't see quite so much of what we're doing in our house, <laughs> which would be nice. Um, but I'm probably going to make my one with glow in the dark, glow in the dark, glow in the dark stars. I have a bunch, but before I make my big one, I need to sell to make a full buying more, really. <laughs> so this one will be finished possibly today it depends how much I get done um, and how many more needles I break turns out putting needles through paper stars is hard work <laughs> especially through these glittery ones this this glittery paper is really thick um, so putting a really thin beading needle because they have to be thin to fit the bugle beads over it um, is quite hard and it snaps the needle so I actually have to poke a hole with one of my bigger needles and then put it through with the bugle um, with the beading needle but it doesn't always go straight because the beading needle is very fine so it bends um, so it takes a little while to get it done <laughs> 
but it's worth it. I think they're really pretty, um, and it's definitely me, so there's probably going to be a lot more of them hanging around the house. <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping other people will like them too and want to buy them um, because you know that is what I am I'm a business and I have to sell things and I know some of you don't like it when we talk about our business and trying to sell you things but that is what I started YouTube for to teach how to make my things and for those who couldn't make them could buy them off me um, and I stepped away from going on about the selling side of my business for a while because um, I couldn't do any more than I was doing anyway so over the November, December and January of this year and last year. I had that shop in town so I was making things for that shop, I actually didn't have time to make anything for the online, online side of my business. Now I do, um, so it will pop up more often, things are going in the shop and what they're being made and what the prices are and all that sort of stuff. Um, I will still continue to do the tutorials and give you the catch up videos and all that sort of stuff but it will become more about my business as well uh, because you know I gotta make some money somehow <laughs> and this is the way I make money um, which I'm sure you all understand this camera is auto adjusting itself and I seem to be going up and up <laughs> um, but never mind so yeah that's all I've really got to say um, I haven't really done much else um, as I said most of it's been organising which I didn't film um, because we were moving a lot of big, big objects and I couldn't risk having the camera in the way while we did that so it's just something I didn't film. Um, those of you who have been watching a while might notice um, the fact that I have this backdrop here and you can see just above here is actually the door to the rooms. My thing has been shifted round. This was in front of me and I was filming from the other side um, but it was. I have the bigger table back in here and it's harder to get my big belly and large butt between the table and the shelves to get around to film that side so I've switched it so I'm filming the opposite side so this backdrop actually comes down every time I finish filming and goes up before I start again um, normally it would be high enough that you won't see this bit but the only way to hang them was on the clips that hold on the backdrop um, because nothing you stuck through the backdrop was strong enough to take the weight of them it's not that they're really heavy but um, you know it's flimsy fabric so it's not designed to take a large amount of weight <laughs> or any weight for that matter um, at some point they probably will fill this back up with blankets and things I'm making or other projects that I'll hang on it or something um, just to try to keep it more interesting so it's not always just a plain background you may find more and more of these popping up behind me who knows um, we'll just see but <sighs> we're just going to see where it goes really isn't it I don't know what else to say because there's really not much to tell you guys. Duncan's still working on the garden, it's coming along lovely. Once it's all finished I will show you all it. Um, we've had to use some of the bamboo to prop up our rose bushes because they've started falling over. Um, we really chopped back the bamboo on the side which is where I've got all my bamboo for all of these little things. Um, there will be um, yarn wall hangings as well but I'm still waiting for the bamboo to dry um, whereas with this the bamboo could still dry pretty easily because it's just very thin strands over it so it's not preventing it drying if I start putting yarn on that would prevent it so I'm holding up on that for a little longer um, yeah not much else to say I don't think um, oh I haven't shown you any of my badges have I oh, be right back <laughs> How can I forget I haven't shown you the badges? So if you, one of the videos I did a little while ago was me opening, uh, unboxing my badge maker, which is the same as the one Denise from Dear Designs has got. Um, I've been saving for it for quite a while and once she mentioned she was going to be doing badges I sent her a link to the one that I was looking forward to getting because I thought it looked really good and she obviously agreed because she got it as well and she's been making some fantastic badges you must go over and check them out um, we're doing very different badges so it's not like competition to each other or anything so I'll show you the bigger one biggest badges and then thing so these are the 77 mil badges now this one is the tall crochet stitch 
marker. So that one gives you how many yarn overs you do and what the name of that tool stitch is. Um, this is US terms. I didn't do UK terms because I'm finding it very hard to find the UK terms for some of these really big stitches. Um, so I will at some point if I can find them out I will. But and then this is just the badge that says the US crochet terms and the UK crochet terms are up to the sizes I could find. So it's got a couple of big stitches but not many. Um, so they're the different terms. Now these are available in the 77 size, the 58 size and the 44 size. So these are the three size badges I currently do and they are Almost everything will be available in every size. Some things won't work for another size, but we can see. Um, these are made up in the badges, but I thought I'd show you. My mum asked for her 60 badge for her and her best mate, her 60, so I designed these. And then I hand, it's not on this one, but I hand painted glitter onto all the things. So I did red glitter, yellow glitter and blue glitter and I made the badge for um, I'm pretty sure I took a photo and put it up on Instagram if I did I'll try to insert it here um, and then I have my logo into the 45mm badge at the moment um, these ones are all design testers and what I'm actually going to do now is my logo will be faintly like a watermark in the background of all of these when I do them um, Unfortunately, I discovered after doing these, let's find the right one. Can anyone spot the typo? <laughs> There's a typo on every one of these badges. <laughs> um, so I will redo ones to sell and these ones are put up at a second price because there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that it has a small typo in them. Um, so they go for cheaper. Than the other ones. I haven't worked out my prices yet on these, but I will at some point. Um, so this is a rough run of these ones. So at some point they will be redone um, with better quality um, and some changes. Um, just trying to find more on it so I can show you them all. I have a lot here. So, this is a 40 mil. These will also be available on bigger ones if people want them, but I haven't done them on big ones. So, this one, not all disabilities are visible. Um, it's one that's very close to my heart because a lot of people look at me and think, there's nothing wrong with you, why are you on crutches and all this sort of stuff? Um, or why do I sit in a wheelchair sometimes when they see me walking sometimes? My sort of illnesses and a lot of invisible illnesses, um, they have waves of how bad it can be and some days I'm capable of walking and other days I have to sit in a wheelchair. Um, and so I've done these, I think, hopefully to help other people realise that just because we look okay, we're not. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and then these two, I've decided I'm going to keep all the writing in black, I think. So one of these is one that I'll keep and then the rest will be adjusted because I did two different colours. So. So I knit so I don't stab people and I crochet so I don't stab people. Um, I thought they were just a little bit of humour and believe me on some days, this is very true. <laughs> I'm not a violent person but some people are just really like her. <laughs> and then I've done these two. These are very me. I don't know if anyone else will like them but I'm going to do it anyway. So Hippie Chick and Groovy. Um, again I will do them in the bigger ones at some point as well. And then these were just testers to see how photos would look. These are the lower quality ones, so again these will sell as seconds um, for cheaper than the proper ones because these were just testers. Um, there were some of the pictures I've taken. So we have a robin and we have a starling. Um, this is a spring starling, so it's got all, I don't know if you can see, but it's got all of its colours on its coat. Um, but 
I'm gonna do more with my photography. I have a bunch of flowers that I really like and I'll probably make up for myself, but I don't know if anyone else would want flowers with badges. Um, I think that's all of the different types I've done at the moment. Yeah, I think that's all. There's a whole bunch planned that I haven't actually printed out yet because I've been playing around with settings and things, but I've now got to a setting that I really like, which has a much better quality print to them with much better quality paper. Um, so hopefully these will all go up on the shop pretty soon. So within the badges section, I will have a section titled seconds. And all it means is they have a misprint, a typo, or the quality wasn't as good as I wanted. But they're still a little fun and there's nothing wrong with them. So you could buy them as a little cheap gift or something or just to decorate up an area that you're wanting to get some stuff decorated from, you know. Whatever you want really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I've enjoyed playing with them. Um, and more badges will come as and when I do. I've been working on these because I really want to get them at least one in each size of the ones I plan on selling. The really big ones I probably won't sell, they'll just be for me because that's a postage nightmare. Um, but we'll see. Um, so we're just going to see how it goes. But yeah, um, if you've got any ideas for badges that you want, let me know. And if I like it, then if I use your idea, you can have a free badge. Um, and credit obviously I will tell you say who done it um, but yeah there will be more badges I have a long list that I need to start planning out and designing I just haven't done them yet because I've been working on that for the whole time and then in the evenings I've been doing this because um, I just needed to get away from the computer for a little while now that I'm not studying at the moment just too relaxed but I will get back to doing it all soon so I think this time it is everything <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to show you. Mm. No, I think we're good. I haven't forgotten anything else. So, I'd like to say hi to all my new subscribers during my little break between the vlogs that I haven't been doing. Um, I've actually hit over 3,000 subscribers, so hi. Thank you for coming and joining in. Um, please do comment down in any of the videos. I love your comments. Ask any questions. Um, if you need to know something you'd like in a video, if I can do it, I'm happy to give a try and do it. Um, but you can like and give thumbs up and share my videos. That helps get me seen by more people. So, you know, even though I'm selling stuff, um, most of my views and things from this actually come from you guys who share and recommend me to your friends and family um, and I really appreciate that so thank you so much. Um, I haven't done a giveaway for my subscribers simply because there's a little too many um, I don't know what to call them but they either try to pretend they're the ones that won and con you out of the um, prize or con the winner out of that prize um, or they moan and claim it's fixed because they didn't win. Um, I've been lucky with the ones that giveaways that I did do that I didn't get too much hassle from them but I know other people have and it's kind of put me off of doing them. Maybe one day I will go back to doing giveaways. I actually have a bunch of stuff set aside that I was going to do for a giveaway um, but with everything going on I didn't so maybe at some point I will. I don't know. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Um, if there's anyone wanting to test out my pattern for this and eventually this one, please do let me know because no one ever volunteers to test my pattern. I don't know if they just don't like my designs or the way I like things. I don't know. Um, people seem to make them, but they won't test them for me. <laughs> um, so none of my patterns are actually tested by anyone other than me. <laughs> Um, so if there is mistakes in them, please do tell me because it needs to be checked and fixed if there is a mistake. So please do tell me if you ever try any of my patterns and it's not quite right. Because um, I appreciate the help. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably about it. So I'm going to go. Um, I've been very lucky, fingers crossed and touch wood, that next door has gone on a quiet moment. So I've managed to get through this video without like, too much noise, which is quite nice. Um... But I'm going to go because it's getting very hot in here. <laughs> and as you probably see the sun coming in and out through the conservatory. It's very hot. <laughs> so I'm going to see you all later. You all take care. Bye.